this rates go up, payments are harder to make, which means more people are carrying larger balances, more people are missing payments more often, and more are paying not just higher rates, but higher fees. In the first quarter of 2018, consumers held about two trillion in interest rate sensitive debt and the Fed has raised rates uh, a quarter percent seven times for a total of 1.75 percent. Remarkably, that's exactly how much your credit cards have gone up. So if you assume all the interest rate sensitive debt reprices at roughly the same amount, that's an additional $35 billion more a year. Again, for no goods and services. So the couch you got with your credit card for $500 that's sitting in your living room that you're paying for, you're now paying a lot more for the couch. You don't have a more or better couch. It's the same couch. It's just more money coming out of your pocket, going into the pocket of the credit card companies. And the Fed's forecasted to raise their rates another 1% in the next year and a half a percent in 2020. That's another $60 billion out of your pockets. It's ultimately going to, re it's going to result in a total increase of $160 billion. 